Alright guys, this one we're going to go here to the uh, visual settings. And we're going to click here. Now there's a whole list of things you can do to change the visuals on a screen. Like for your score, you can uh, display it on screen if you want to score on there. You can either display it as text. If you click there, you can hide, you know, to hide it, anything so there's no score. You can do display as text or display using images, which you would create little images or something to show what the score is. I'm not sure what you do that for. It's slick. Um, then also, real quick, just so you know, it's sometimes it's a little bit hard clicking on these things because uh, you'll see why in one of the editors. But there's actually uh, pressure zones to actually select these, but that's here and there. there. All right, then you can go from the score. You can display as text, which I like to do, in a font family. You have a little bit of a choice: Arial, Arial Black, Comic Sans, Courier. I like the Comic Sans. Now you can do your font size if you want. You can make it bold. You know, click on italic, so it'd be a bold and italic. Uh, the font color you can change that if you want. You know, make it white, red, black, all those colors. Um, the font transparency. It's uh, by default, I believe, set at 85%. That means you can see through it just a little bit. You can make it 100% so it's solid, or make it 5% so you can barely see it. And the text align, you can go, you know, left, center, or right. And that's just setting it up. I'll show you if you read down there. It says hold down the space bar for preview. Um, so I'll hold down the space bar. And you'll see the score right up here. All right. So say I let that go, text align, say I take it at the center, and then hold down the space bar. It moves it over that way. Not sure why it did that. Well, let's go to right and give that a check. And it just kept moving it over. Let's go to left. Alright, I'm not sure how it didn't pair a pair in game, but and then you can use an image also for the score but like I said I'm not sure I think you can put like say a little uh, a little picture back here and a score will pop up above it or on top of it and then you can do your position X and Y which uh, that's on the screen so you can actually move it so if it's not over here you can move it down over here and whatnot now you come down to your health bar display on screen if you want you can either show it or not dimensions is 200 by 20 by default that seems pretty good you can go horizontal or you can go vertical let's look at vertical you see it's vertical up and down or you can switch it back to horizontal which I do like it like that uh, you can choose of course your color and that's yellow we'll stick with that bar transparency is at 40 percent and you see how you can really see through it just for the heck of it let's take it up to 100 percent okay now we hold it down you see it's a bright solid yellow so again okay, this is all you know your discretion and uh, position X and Y you can move it around the screen if you want um, show you real quick it's at position X is 500 position Y is 10 so just for the heck of it Let's take it to uh, 700. Okay. And if I show you there, it moves all the way over. So, you know, you really don't want it. This just a lot of messing around. So I'll go back to 5. Enter. And then you can do your health image. So if you want to do a little uh, show your health on screen. And uh, you can either, you know, show it or not. Much health you have. Uh, and you can create an image for it. And then do your position X and Y. It's where it's ever. It's on screen. And then you can come over here to number of lives. And you can do display. Use, you can hide it. Use text. It'll tell you one, two, or three. Or display using images. I'll do display using images. Uh, I'll keep it at Arial. I don't care. If you can do your font size. This, this, this. That's if you're doing it as text. You know your text alignment left. Now the image. I'm going to click here. Go through in my player lives. Position 720. Now if you see, I hold it there, and 
since my, it's set to three lives, I get three images there. Well, I really don't care for that, so I probably want to drop it down. So I'll click here and take that maybe to 60. Okay. And the nice thing is you can keep previewing it by holding the space bar down. I'm going to drop that down another 10 to say 70. Hold down a space bar. I think it's down low enough. And then I want to come over. Where's that? It's 700. How about I come over to. Let's try it for the heck of it right now. 300. That's way too much. Way, way too much. So let me go back here. Uh, let me try. 525. We'll die my preview. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I can go, say, bump that over a little bit at 5... 527. We'll go 527. Hold die on that. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I could probably move it over a couple more pixels, but that's fine for now. And then, uh, the level number, if you want to show the level number, you know, you can uh, either show it or not. It's if you you know want to show it and you can choose that your bold your font size the transparency left all that good stuff and then the hide screen say you do real fancy hide screen because you want to create i don't know uh like a mech game and you want to have a you know a fancy space age uh say border around your playing screen and have an iron sight or something on there but you make a big like 800 by 600 image and that would be your hud and you know you can choose your image display it, and all that so uh, that's a quick run through I know I talk fast but I'm trying to get through these real quick and uh, we'll go to main menu as always I'll save my game okie doke and that was for the visual settings a quick run down like I said mess with it a lot more but that should be you know, give you a kind of the basics here but alright guys now I'm gonna exit out yes I do and I'm going to stop this tutorial here. Thanks for stopping by, guys.